Hey there, welcome to TCM, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Many of you are familiar with Paul Newman's famous pool con movie, The Hustler. Well, coming up next today, we've got a gritty drama that my former journalism teacher, the critic Judith Christ, called The Hustler in Spades. From 1965, Steve McQueen and Edward G. Robinson star in The Cincinnati Kid. In the film, poker replaces pool, but it's still the story of a young Turk challenging an old master to a high-stakes game in a boozy, smoky room on the wrong side of town. In many ways, the story behind the film is nearly as fascinating as the movie itself. Producer Martin Ranzahoff conceived the film to culminate in a Western-like showdown as a gunfight, but with a pack of cards. Even the name, The Cincinnati Kid, sounds like a Western. To that end, Ranzahoff brought in director Sam Peckinpah, a filmmaker known for adult tough guy westerns. But Peckinpah, who was notoriously difficult to work with, quickly wore out his welcome, and Ranzahoff fired him just four days into shooting. In came Norman Jewison to direct. Jewison was just 29 years old and was primarily known for directing a pair of Doris Day comedies. But what made Jewison particularly valuable here was that he'd done a lot of television too, and that meant he could work quickly and efficiently, which was critical since the false start with Peckinpah had already put the production well behind schedule. Jewison's assignment, make a good movie and make it fast. He accomplished both. From MGM in 1965, also with Anne Margaret, Tuesday Weld, and Carl Malden, here's the Cincinnati Kid. 